Hi, welcome to Story Time with Rohini. Today, I will narrate a folk tale about ten merchants. It is called Pride Goes Before Fall. Once upon a time, in a village, there lived ten cloth merchants. They were very good friends of each other and they never had any differences amongst them because each time they traded they used the trade code which was no unknown to the customers and no matter who the customer visited using the trade code they would fix the price of the cloth for example they used nt for 10 and erith for 3 and eno for 1 so no matter who the customer visited, the price was always the same. Therefore, the merchants never had any difference of opinion amongst them and they always traveled together and made good money. Once they traveled to a far off kingdom and having traded all their goods and making much, much more profit than they usually did. They started traveling back to their own village and just on the outskirts of the village was a dense forest which they had to cross and one early morning they reached the dense forest and were passing through it when three robbers attacked them with swords and cudgels and took away all the possessions they had, all the profit that they made and even took away their clothes and the robbers left the merchants with just their undergarments on. The merchants were feeling terrible about this attack, but they did not dare do anything because the robbers had weapons and the merchants were unarmed. And the robbers felt very proud that they attacked 10 strong men and took away everything they had and left them in their undergarments that the pride went to their head. They wanted to trouble the merchants a little more and they asked the merchants to dance. Now this went a little too far and the merchants were really angry. They wanted to do something but they did not know what to do. One merchant among all of them was very clever and he agreed to dance. And he told the robbers that he'll dance to his own song. The robbers agreed. They sat down on the floor of the forest, put their sword beside them and they started relaxing because they thought that the merchants submitted themselves to the robbers. And before dancing, the clever merchant sang his song twice as a hint to all the other merchants. And the song went like this. We are NT men, NT men, NT men. They are Erith men, Erith men, Erith men. If Erith of us surround Eno of them, there will be none, none, none. Tararam pam pam, tararam pam pam, tararam pam pam, he sang. The moment the other merchants heard the song, they understood what the clever man was trying to say. He was saying that there were ten of them, empty men, and the robbers were just Erith men, three of them. And if three of the merchants surround Eno each, one robber each, there will be none of the robbers left and they can go back home happily. So all the merchants understood the song and they fell in line with the clever merchant and they all danced. And they danced in such a way that the robbers really started relaxing and they started going closer to the robbers with each dance step they performed. And once they were close enough to the robbers, three merchants each surrounded one robber and pinned them to the floor. And the clever merchant who began the song tied all the robbers up with the wines that were there in the forest. And that is how the merchants defeated the robbers and they took 
their possessions back from the robbers and they went to the village and lived happily ever after. And this happened because the robbers were so proud about defeating 10 merchants that they would not let things rest and they asked for more and that became their doom. That, that's how the story ends and because of the clever merchant, the robbers were easily defeated.